guys, it's Jen here from Jen's Wild About Watercolour. So today I'm doing a little painting of a deer and her baby. And yeah, so I'm drawing it this today with my Stedler Micro Mars mechanical pencil in a 0.5. And I will be painting them with my Sennelia watercolours and my silver black velvet watercolour brushes. So yeah, so I'm drawing in her little face. They're quite pretty things. I haven't done a lot of research into these ones, but I just love the look of them and I felt like drawing them and painting them. So here we are. <laughs> I'm drawing the baby in and she's all curled up in front of her mum. So I found this little picture on Pixabay and it just really appealed to me. They were just so cute that I thought, yep, I have to paint these. And then she's got one little outstretched leg. tucked up underneath her, have a little hoof, and then bring the back leg around and they're sort of stuck out to the side a little bit, and then the other one's tucked up underneath again, so keeping the outline quite simple. And finish off mum's legs. Now I'm using my size 8 silver black velvet and I'm going in with a very damp wash of yellow ochre over all of mum, except her white belly. Then I go back into the baby with the same wash of yellow ochre. And then I go in with a slightly thicker mix over the top of that again, not all over it, like not completely over her, but I added it in bits and pieces where she's going to have darker spots. Not going into too much detail with the colour. Just doing lots of washes to try and achieve the depth that way. Then back into mum with that thicker wash of yellow ochre. And then I'm using a very thin wash of Van Dyke Brown just to add a bit of colour to her back. And then once I've put this on, I'll dampen it, go back in with a damp brush and just move it around because it travels, it goes quite a long way. It's quite a highly pigmented colour. So a tiny bit goes a long way. So yeah, so now I'm just moving it around with a damp brush. Just to blend it all in and do the same with Bub. Go back into all the darker bits. like that. So now I'm going in with a bit of raw sienna. I'm 
just again, same thing again, just um, going into where our darker areas are. And you do, you see all the different layers through these when you've washed them down really thin. Um, you see every every layer that you've done, which is really beautiful with Sennelia watercolours, one of the reasons I love them so much. You know, anyway, they're really transparent, so I'm now just taking that um, Van Dyke Brown very thin wash and moving it around. Oh, sorry, Raw Sienna, moving, moving it around. Softening up the edges. Darkening up the bottoms of their legs. heavy and we'll soften that up with a damp brush just like that and you can achieve some beautiful effects with very simple colours just with lots of layers it creates a beautiful effect and then we'll go back in with a slightly thicker mix of raw sienna and I'll just soften the very edges of that up with a damp brush again Whoops, had a miss and got outside the leg, so I've got to go back in with a damp brush and just mop that up, and get rid of that, tidy it up a bit. And these Stillman and Byrne Zeta series books, they're awesome, they're watercolour books, and um, yeah, they hold up really well to watercolour. So I don't get a lot of warping or anything in the pages. So now I'm going back in with my ultramarine blue and burn umber to mix a grey, just like that. And then I'm gonna pop it on her very dark bits. So the bottoms of her legs, just around her shoulder. She's got a little patch on her flank, around her neck, around her eye, on her muzzle. that around again with a, with a damp brush just move it all around soften it up watercolor is such an amazing medium to be able to move things around so now I'm going in with a damp brush and then I'm just putting a little touch of cerulean blue onto her belly where her white is just because that's in shadow and then I'm going back into the little one with the size 4 so I go back into the baby and pop that same mix, that grey mix that I made with ultramarine and burnt umber and just pop that around the baby's dark bits. It's around her shoulder. I'm not sure if she's a hair, I'm just pulling her hair. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, just adding little dark bits around her belly. And then go back into the raw sienna bub, pop a little bit of that around and again move it around with a damp brush just to blend it all in so it all merges in together around her bottom around mum's neck, I'll soften that up a bit because it had got developed quite a bit of a line there so just soften it up that was quite dry and I just went back in with a damp brush and moved it around so that was really good really happy with that and now I'm going back into the eye with both mum and bub with a bit of um, burnt sienna and then go in with a bit of Payne's grey to just finish them off just a little mark there do bubby's eye and bubby's nostrils little hooves in a second there we go Now I'm going to be mixing up a grey, so again ultramarine blue um, and burn umber and that's going to be a very dark mix of it, so a strong mix and I'm just going to wash that down for the ground underneath them and then add a bit more blue in to give it a shadow, just a bit more, a bit more depth to the colour, so the blue makes it a shadowy colour, just for underneath where they're standing. Anyway, we're just about done. Just a few finishing touches to do. So if you enjoyed this, click like and subscribe. I love sharing my videos with this videos with you guys. So yeah, it'd be awesome to 
to see you next time so click on the the bell icon and you'll get to see my upcoming videos I try to post daily or at least every couple of days so yeah I'd love to share my videos with you so I look forward to seeing you all next time just doing some final touches and in with the signature see you guys in the next video have an awesome day and thank you so much okay